I just want to talk quickly about how we set up the Cinestar 3 axis gimbal for, for use in filming. Um, Hugh uses a uh, Futaba 8FG to control the gimbal, and I've got him set up on switch C, which is a three position switch. So the three modes that he's got, the, when the switch is up, that's an off, that kills the PW, PWM drives to the servos. So the, the gimbal is powered up, but it's, uh, all the drives are completely dead right now. Um, the, middle switch, uh, the middle position goes to fixed position stabilized. So he doesn't actually have any slew input in this in this uh, setting. This is useful sometimes if I go fly by myself, I'll click it into this mode so I have stabilization, but it doesn't require a camera operator to use it. And then if you go all the way down on the switch, that gives stabilization plus slew. Um, an important thing to, to note is the middle position or the up position is what we use for takeoff because if you go into slew, that activates the pan channel and that can make the multirotor spin around when it's on the ground, which is very unnerving for a pilot as you're trying to take off and land. Um, I want to give a quick talk about setting the gain. Uh, I think the easiest way to tune the gimbal is to use, to utilize the three position switch. Um, you, I go to kill mode and I'll try a new gain setting and then I'll activate it and I'll see how it responds. So right now I've got this thing set up just default box stock parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and double the gain so that we get a, it's a setting that I know is much too much for this, uh, for this setup, so it'll show you an example of an overgain situation. So I've gone from gone from 100 to 200. So when I click back into stabilized, you can see if I if I give the gimbal a, a tap, it doesn't feel dead. It wants to excite and vibrate, and this is not what you want. You uh, you want the gimbal to feel quite dead, so that it, it won't get anything in flight that will excite it and cause further oscillation. So we just went back to the stock, to the default gain setting. And you can see the difference. When I give it a tap now, it's much, it's much more dead. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to self-excite and go into an oscillation. And you can see it's still, you know, it's still fairly responsive even at this low gain setting. So that's, uh, that's uh, the workflow that we use to go through and tune the gimbal, uh, utilizing the transmitter and the three position mode selection switch. It just saves you a lot of time between rather than plugging in and unplugging to check new things and then just trying new gains and there's really only the one gain setting that you need to uh, adjust after you get the balance correct on the gimbal so it's a pretty simple setup